Hello and welcome to uh, this video about a name CDS3. Because it's uh, only three or maybe four thousand dollar CD player, uh, it doesn't come with uh, its own power supply and it gets power on that big fat cable there, you see. And that goes to the um, CD555 PS. That apparently costs ten or fifteen thousand dollars depending on how unlucky you are if you want to get it or, or where you are. Uh, we are here in really uh, a crazy territory. Um, the fact that it hasn't got onboard transformer doesn't mean that they don't believe in regulating. As you see there are rows and rows of, of regulators everywhere absolute record I've, I've had before 2025 but this is 41 so I doubt it will ever be broken um, but other than that um, well the fact that this is suspended but it's actually not mounted it's just it's put in there but the boards the boards are actually suspended have a look here that and that you know never seen that before that must be the first time for everything and that certainly is one so crazy things I mean all that it's a name way of doing things and it has been done in original CD3 and you can sort of feel at home there but uh, but obviously this is this is where the smarts are and and it has I can see here Burr Brown, I think it's um, PCM1704 because it's supposed to have two of them. I cannot see the second. Maybe it's on the other side of that board. And that it's either servo chip or signal processing. Again, I have no idea. I have no diagrams for it. So, too bad, so sad. So, the, the guy who gave it to me reckons that it must be very something very simple. I never get anything simple. And uh, he says, oh, maybe it's a relay. Well, it is, but it's not all that's wrong with it. So what's happening is that it has two outputs. It has outputs on RCIs and on DIN. So um, this is the relay that uh, services the RCIs, and this is the one that services um, the DIN. I actually asked him to check the to outwards and it says they're both faulty. Well, the DIN is faulty because that relay is faulty. The signal arrives there, it doesn't leave. But that relay is good, <laughs> yet you still only have one channel. Um, these two relay m relays must be muting. I have no idea what else it could be. Um, because they're sort of... Um, or maybe not, maybe not, because the outputs go straight out. So, so I have no idea why would they have two ways of reaching the output. But anyway, we'll worry about it later. Um, so uh, the problem, of course, is uh, much earlier than that. And, um, and it is actually on the smart board. So because if we look in here, and this is the input to the audio board, we have a nice signal there. But if we look on the second channel, we get bugger all. So the problem is on the smart board. Let me kill that tone. So um, I've noticed this couple of bulged capacitors there. Well, it could be that the, we have no voltage supply. I can measure that, but um, this is just my initial impressions. Um, so um, I'll, I'll sort of deal with it, you know, one thing at a time. I'll order the relays, I'll probably replace them all because, you know, if one went there's a chance that, you know, others are not so healthy either, you know. Maybe that has been dead for a long time and uh, nobody knew that because they were using RCA outputs. But, you know, when you fix things you have to fix sort of everything. You cannot sort of leave <laughs> some things uh, uh, not done. One thing I'm curious about is those two items there. I've never seen anything like it. They, these are semiconductors because they have a Q9 and Q19 designations. And uh, there's two more over there. Uh, I don't know whether they're some kind of hybrids or what. 
but Q is the designation here for, for transistors, you know, like Q7 or 12. So, so it must be some kind of uh, semiconductor. There's no designation on it at all. Maybe that's just a cover. I'm not going to muck about with it because that's on my brief and I'm not that curious, unless, of course, the fault is there. But if anybody knows what these might be, please let me know in the comments. So that's all for now, and, uh, well, I'll have to get cracking on that. Well, thank you very much, and till the next one. Bye-bye.